Is this another John Wick ripoff? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you Polar, starring Mads Mikkelsen, Vanessa Hudgens, and Katherine Winnick. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts, then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. Polar follows the story of the world's top assassin, who finds himself marked for death when his former employer puts a bounty on his head to avoid paying his retirement. Overall, this was a great action flick. Its stylized violence may not be for everyone, but it certainly is more than a John Wick copy. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the best part, the lead performance. Mads Mikkelsen excels at playing the quiet type, and here, he's no different. He masterfully portrays a complex character while managing to kick some serious ass. His on-screen chemistry with Vanessa Hudgens is also good in elevating their relationship throughout the film. The film is beautifully shot with some breathtaking cinematography and immersive close-ups. This is complemented by some well-choreographed and entertaining action sequences that are full of gore and hyper-violence. This is part of the film's charm, its style. The comic book visuals and entrances mixed with the over-the-top scenes plays into the silly world its source material comes from. Thankfully, it embraces this silliness and doesn't take itself too seriously, despite still managing to have some serious moments and themes. However, this film is filled with a few characters that act as unbearable caricatures with absolutely no depth. These characters account for half of the film's story, which is a shame because the difference between them and the other story causes a few tone and pacing issues. When everything is focused on Vizsla, the story is enthralling, but when it switches back to the other story, everything that was built up in the previous scene is completely null and void, as these scenes come across as more grotesque than anything. And that's where I'll end our spoiler-free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now it's time for spoilers. No spoilers to talk about for this one, but the best scenes to me were the opening assassination, the doctor's appointment, the flashback assassinations, the hotel assassination, and the cabin attack. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. Polar is a hyper-violent action thriller that brings a fresh take to a trending genre. While some of the characters are unbearable and the story has tone and pacing issues, the beautiful cinematography, engaging fight scenes, and unique style, all centered around an alluring central performance, makes for a bloody good time. This film will not be for everyone, but it's a must-see for die-hard action fans, so I'm going to give Polar a 7.5. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing Polar? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips and this has been the Film Fanatic Review. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest If You Liked video, where we recommend movies similar to the film Napoli Ever After. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.